Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is the start of a new series, so let me know if you like it. It's going to be tentatively known as Quick Tech Tips, which, as the name probably implies, gives you some technical tips on your PC or other devices as quickly as possible. This one's probably going to be slightly longer than most. I'm going to aim to keep the format relatively short, say three to five minutes, so you can watch it on, say, a quick lunch break, something like that. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a couple of tips in this particular um, video, and I will evolve the format over time. I've got a couple of ideas, but I haven't really settled on anything as yet. So if you have some ideas to improve the format, as I said, it's kind of a blank slate at the moment. Feel free to let me know. But, with all of that said, let's start. So, first things first, we have a folder, and there is nothing inside that folder, I promise you. But I'm going to show you how to create a folder known as God Mode. Now, it basically gives you a massive amount of administration tools in whichever folder you like. Now, you can put this on your desktop, your C drive, your D drive, your 55 drive. It doesn't matter. And it's kind of cool because it gives you access to your network capabilities. It's basically control panel on steroids. There is a reason it's called God Mode. All you have to do is type that on screen. I'm just kidding. I put it in the video description, so don't start ripping your hair out. Couple of little points before we continue. This is negotiable. I've called it God Mode just to make it clear what it is. And because it sounds cool. You could call it Kitty Cats. I'm gonna spell it with a K to be, you know, something. But yeah, you can call it anything you like and it will work absolutely fine. But I'm going to call it God Mode. So all you have to do is Control A, Control C that. Do bear in mind this little bit here. There are no spaces and you also have to ensure that these are the correct brackets. They are not those brackets, they are these brackets. So on a standard UK keyboard, it would be these brackets but with the shift key held down. There are no spaces or anything else and everything is non-negotiable. So I will once again put it in the video description. Right click, New, Folder. It's going to ask you for a folder, press Ctrl V, or you could type it in yourself if you feel very brave indeed. Press Enter, and you get a uh, rather cool looking icon, which says God Mode. Now, I'm running this on Windows 10, but I believe it works for other Windows versions, but I haven't really tested many of them. Anyway, click on God Mode, and there you go. So you have everything. You have color management, adjust date and time, device and printers. All your screen stuff, ease of access, um, apparently an ambulance has decided to go past my house at this particular time, which is very inopportune. File Explorer, everything you could ever want. Pretty much everything is there. Admittedly, a lot of this stuff is available in other locations, but just because of the simple usability of this, I really like this little, this little treat. So, yeah, that's from me to you. So now we're going to be taking a look at our old friend and pal, Command Prompt. So first things first, let's go through one of the the options that no one seems to know about. And that is right click on the uh, taskbar, right, uh, and then simply left click on properties. You can adjust things such as the cursor size, uh, quick edit options, which are actually quite important because you'll notice control key shortcuts, which we'll get into in just a second enable line wrapping. You've got font options if you need it to be bigger or smaller depending on you, which can be handy if you're typing in a lot of commands. Uh, larger font sizes are actually a friend. Personally I use either 14 or 16, but that's just my personal preference. May obviously benefit you if you've got a smaller screen or once again you're using a lot of uh, commands. Layout and colors if you so desire. Personally, don't really feel the need to change those. I like the defaults, but that's just me. Next, we got to click OK, and uh, nothing's obviously changed. So first things first, I'm just going to copy that just in case it's not been copied. You've always been able to just right click in the command prompt to paste, which isn't bad, but now it's giving you the option to do it via Control V. So previously you couldn't actually press Control V to paste, which I don't know why. Next. Um, this one, once again, is probably fairly well known, but I'm going to mention it anyway just in case you're newer to system administration or systems in general. Uh, if you type in, let's just say we want a couple of commands into the system, cd.dot, cd.dot, cd windows, duh, 
CD window, that's uh, actually wait, system 32. So we're just trying to get a couple of commands. Then you can use the up and down keys to uh, arrow keys to just move through the various uh, various previous commands you've got, basically through the command history, which is quite helpful because let's say for the sake of argument, I was in CD Windows and I typed in CD system obviously that's not a real thing so you can go back in and just quickly make an amendment it's not really handy if you're typing in short commands like this but obviously some of uh, dos commands can be really lengthy so that's quite handy probably going to do a tech tips on dos command or command prompt uh commands handy ones in the near future actually because some of them are actually quite useful um for example you can type in date and type in the date here example it could be that and it will change the date I won't do that because I don't want to change the date but you can do that just for example next we're gonna go through some virtual desktop stuff kinda handy some people use virtual desktops all the time particularly if you've only got one monitor it's really handy let's say for the sake of argument if you're running on a laptop um, if you're using say three monitors it's probably not that helpful but if you're using only one it can be quite nice first things first Windows key plus control key plus D will bring you up a new desktop and you can see that I've now got three if you hold the same two keys control and windows and then press left and right arrow you can flick through them uh, so let's just say for the sake of argument we've got this one this would be desktop three I'm gonna go back one uh, this would be D2 so now obviously if we go through the keys you can see that we've got all of them as you'd expect if we press Windows Control plus F4, it will close one, and if you press it again, it will go back to the original, and then you've got the notepad files because those programs previously existed in other windows, so it's not like it's going to close all of those programs. It's just a quick t uh, tip. I personally don't really use uh, virtual desktops that often because, once again, I very often will simply use multiple monitors, but still kind of handy. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As I said, the main purpose of this one was God Mode and a few other tips just thrown in for good measure. But the next set of tips will probably be more uh, complicated. These ones are fairly simple. A couple of fairly well-known ones, a couple of less well-known ones, just to kind of get us started and for me to figure out how the format works and how I'm going to evolve it. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.